Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Timura Jabov and Asuka Nakamura. This is a game from Under 10 World Chess Championship played in 1996. Timura Jabov had white pieces and he started with knight to f3. Asuka Nakamura played d6. Asuka Nakamura is the older brother of Hikaru Nakamura. d4, knight to f6, b3, g6, bishop to b2, bishop to g7, g3. Rajabov plays the opening which doesn't require leaning too much theory. Nakamura castled kingside, bishop to g2, so white has a double fianchetto. c6 castling, knight from b to d7, c4. Queen to c7, knight to c3. Easy pattern to learn, isn't it? Black to move, rook to d8. Lining the rook with the white queen. This position was seen before. And players before this game played e4 and d5. Rajabo played queen to c2, a novelty. e5, rook from f to d1, and now rook to e8, because Nakamura realized that the other rook belongs to d8. e4, b6, bishop to a3, black to move, bishop to f8. If bishop to b7, then d takes on e5, and after d takes on e5, bishop to d6. Back to our game. Bishop to f8, rook to d2, intending to double the rooks on the d-file. Bishop to b7, rook from a to d1. Young Rajabov wastes no moves. Rook from a to d8. d takes on e5, d takes on e5. Bishop to d6, bishop takes on d6. Rook takes on d6, rook to e7, queen to d2. There is a lot of pressure on the knight on d7, and Nakamura was worried. He played rook from e to e8. Let's play a random move to see what is the problem. If a6, then white plays rook takes on f6, and after knight takes on f6, queen takes rook check, queen takes queen, rook takes queen, white is a piece up. Back to our game. Rook from e to e8, protecting the rook on d8. White to move, what would you do? Rajabo played knight takes on e5. This requires a bit of calculation, doesn't it? Rook takes on e5. What did Rajabo have in mind? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Rajabo continued with rook takes on f6. Rook from e to e8. If knight takes on f6, queen takes on d8, check, queen takes on d8, rook takes on d8, check, and white is standing much better. Back to our game. Rook from e to e8. White to move. What would you do? White play the move and black resigned and the move is. Rook to d6. Nakamura resigned. For the entertainment purpose I will show you just one line. Bishop to c8 defending the knight. e5. Rook takes on e5, bishop takes on c6, rook to e6, knight to b5 attacking the queen, queen to b8, rook takes rook, f takes on e6, queen to g5, rook to e8, bishop takes on d7, bishop takes on d7, rook takes on d7, a random move, what else? Queen to h6, threatening queen to g7, maybe. Queen to e5, defending g7 square. But then queen takes on h7 check, and after king to f8, white plays the obvious queen to f7 check. Mate. Nicely and precisely played game by young Timur Rajabov. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.